It's finally 80 degrees and sunny. Oh, I just want to like skip work today and go for a bike ride. <laughs> It's crazy. So many more of my yards are just drying out. This weather is really bizarre this year. It's like it's the middle of the summer or something. I know I said this before, but I mean, like, it, it's just continually getting worse. And nobody's watering their yards for whatever reason. Like, half the people haven't even gotten their sprinklers turned back on yet. And even gotten their backflow tests or anything. Like, you know, I don't I don't know what the, what the holdup is. I mean... This time last year, I had already mowed at least once, um, and I, I guess maybe there, you know, there's normally more rain this time of year, so everyone just kind of waits to the last minute to get their water turned back on and run their sprinklers. But uh, everything's really drying out, so I don't, you know, people got to get on the get on the program here. I mean, there's no sense in paying someone to maintain your yard and get somebody to pay someone to treat it and put down fertilizer and weed control if you're never even going to water your yard. In the absence of rain, you know, you're supposed to water your yard. Otherwise, there's no sense in wasting your money on fertilizing and and uh, and mowing. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So hopefully people will get, get everything uh, going soon so that, you know, some of the grass can start greening back up and growing. Either that or get some rain I mean it's supposed to get some rain this Friday but I mean we get one day of rain every week that's that's not enough and I'm not saying I want it to rain every day so that then I that I'm having trouble trying to even get find time to mow the lawns because they're all all wet and overgrown but this is the this is the exact opposite of that extreme you know so just something in the middle would be nice whatever I mean it, it is what it is 
you know, you take what you can get, but uh, hopefully we'll get some more rain soon or people will start getting their sprinklers running so we can get some nice green grass again. This is the audiobook that I'm listening to right now. 59 seconds. Think a little. Change a lot. I just finished. Um, right here. I just finished The Secrets to Success by Eric Thomas. That book is awesome. Um, I definitely recommend getting the audiobook for Eric Thomas's The Secret to Success because since he is a, a really good public speaker he's narrating his own audiobook so you really get the full benefits of Eric Thomas um, you know the great speaker that he is he's very passionate about everything that he speaks about and so listening to him read his book just makes it all the better than just reading it but you know you want to read it that's fine too maybe have both maybe listen to it and have a copy so you can make notes and stuff like I remember, I think I saw him on Periscope once talking about his new book last year or something. And he was, you know, wasn't all that thick of a book. And he said he, it really looks more like a workbook than anything else. Because that's what he wants it to be is a workbook, you know. Like, so you can follow along, highlight, make notes, bookmark things, you know. And just use it as a workbook for life. It's a guide. And... You know, I didn't know that much about Eric Thomas other than him being a really motivational speaker, a really good motivational speaker, until I listened to this book. I had no idea what his story was and how he was homeless, you know, um, a high school age kid that was homeless and to becoming what he is now, you know, with his, with his uh, PhD and everything. I mean, he didn't even graduate high school. He got his GED and took him 10 years to get a uh, 12 years actually to get his bachelor's degree just because he kept stop you know he, he because he just didn't complete it he would just quit basically um actually he got kicked out he got excused from college at one point because his gpa was so low he just never liked school but it was something that he needed to conquer so that he could achieve his goals and his dreams and be the best um, inspirational speaker he could be so he knew exactly what the struggles were that everyone go was going through so when he spoke to troubled youth he could personally be the example of, of saying look I know what it's like I know what you're going through I've been through it all and I came out the other side as Eric Thomas as the hip-hop preacher as you know whatever you want to say I and I'm here to tell you that it can be done so it's just really awesome. I mean, it has nothing to do with business. It has nothing to do with um, being successful about anything specific other than life. It is about life and being successful with life. So I recommend that book highly. So before you judge Eric Thomas or label him as just another motivational speaker, read his book or listen to his book. He's not like everybody else, trust me. Well, we needed it to rain over here on the East Coast. We finally got what we needed. Could have rained tonight though, that would have been a lot more convenient, you know? Baby, come back in.